Your membership at the Idea Exchange Old Post Office Makerspace allows you access to a variety of innovative creative technology. This tutorial is part one of our laser cutter series and will show you how to set up a basic job for both cutting and engraving. This tutorial uses CorelDRAW, which is a payware software available on the design computers and laptops in the Makerspace. Opening up CorelDRAW, we will want to create a new document. Hitting File, New, will open up a new document window, which allows us to apply some settings before getting started. The first important step here is to set the width and height of your artboard. I'll set my artboard to 30 inches by 19 inches, which is the size of the pre-cut three millimeter birch plywood sheets we sell at Idea Exchange. The second important step in this menu is to change the color mode to RGB, which is the only mode recognized by the laser cutter. We have to keep our colors within this spectrum to ensure the laser reads our lines as cuts. Hit OK and your job will be generated with these settings. Today I'll be showing you how to create a simple name tag. First, we need to make the cut line, which will act as the outside perimeter. Navigating to the menu on the left-hand side, we'll use the rectangle tool to create this shape. Click and drag to create a rectangle. You can view the size of the rectangle at the top here, Notice that when I click off the rectangle, I am shown the size of the artboard. We can size the rectangle as big or as small as we want. For a name tag, we'll do about 1.5 inches high by three inches wide. CorelDRAW has many capabilities within each tool. For example, this top menu that appears allows us to create curved corners on our rectangle. Once you've got your rectangle looking how you want it to look, you have to adjust the line properties so that the laser cutter can recognize it. When you select the rectangle, you'll notice that it is just an outline without any fill. This is what we want, but we need to change the properties of the outline so that the laser knows to cut along this line. Double-clicking this box will open the outline pen properties. We need to change two settings here, the color and the line width. Like I mentioned earlier, the laser only reads the RGB color scheme, which is what we have it set to. To cut, we use a true red. What that means is red is set at 255, while green and blue are both set at zero. We'll then want to change the line width to hairline. This is the only width the laser cutter will be able to read as a cut line, as it's the smallest possible line width in CorelDRAW. Now we have a cut line. We'll want to engrave or raster our name onto our name tag. This process uses less power than cutting and simply etches away a layer of the material rather than cutting through it. The laser will move line by line to create an engraving. When we're designing an engraving project, the color black will always be recognized by the machine as an engraving. So I'll use the text tool, the little A on the left-hand menu, to type my name. Notice I clicked on the A and then simply clicked on the job board to create text, rather than dragging to create a text box. I can choose whatever font I like, however bolder is better. Now I'll arrange the black engraving within my red cut line to my liking. When I send this to the laser cutter, it will know to engrave my name and then cut around it. There is one more step to knowing the three basic functions of laser cutting. This is called a vector edge, which is essentially a very light cut that does not go through the material. A vector edge has the same hairline width as a cut line, but because we want the power to be lower, we need to make it a different color for the machine to differentiate the two. I will be making the outline of my name be a vector edge to make it stand out a bit more. So, selecting my font and going back to the outline pen menu, we'll set the width of the outline to hairline, but this time we will make the line true blue. That is zero red, zero green, and 255 blue. Hitting OK, you can now see that the black font has a blue edge. Your design is ready to be laser cut. Be sure to watch parts two and three of this video to learn more about setting up the machine to cut.